Hey guys, what's going on? So I don't have a lot to show off this week since there was a down week for new uh, physical media releases. So I have like, I think six titles here in front of me. Yeah, and then two CDs. I, the first three titles, I just, I just randomly just went to my thrift store and I found them, so. Um, two CDs, uh, this is a punk ska compilation called Two Hep Productions. Uh, these aren't two-tone. Um, I listened to a couple songs on the way home. Pretty good stuff. Um, a lot of it's like local bands from this area. Uh, I want to say it was in like the mid to late 90s. But uh, bands that you may have heard of are like obviously Less Than Jake. Um, Homegrown. The Hippos. Against All Authority. Uh, Link 80. Other than that, it's just like, you know, MU 330s on here. That they're kind of popular. So, The Impossibles. Uh, 35 tracks all together. So, they are definitely short songs. So, there's your track listing there. And then, uh, found a, uh, I guess it's, uh, well, it's kind of like a full length, I guess. There's seven songs on here. This is a uh, Revelation Records release from 1980. Well, it's it's a compilation, I guess. 1989, 1993, and 1996. It is a band called Bold, and it's called Looking Back. Uh, they look like a like a early '90s like hardcore band. But yeah, there's there's the inside. Uh, I, I usually like bands that are on the label of Revelation, so I'll check this out. So we have Bold. Alright, everything else here is Blu-ray or uh, 4K. So the only uh, movie I picked up today was a former Blockbuster rental, so I, I just switched the case out. This is from Universal and Focus Features, and that is The Kids Are Alright. Great cast, you got Annette Benning, uh, Julian Moore, Mark Ruffalo, Josh Hutcherson, Josh Hutcherson, and Mia Laskowska. Uh, this is from, uh, what year is this from? 2010. I remember when it came out, I wanted to see it, but I never got a chance to actually pick it up. So for a dollar, I'll, <clears throat> I'll buy just about anything for a dollar if I'm interested in it, so. Yep, there's the back you can tell you can see like where the glue was so it's okay for a dollar for a dollar pick it up all right so the uh website that shall not be named uh, actually just purchased two more titles uh the other day they just had a drop but this is the only one from like the previous weeks to drop that i really wanted since we probably won't ever see a physical Blu-ray release here in the States of this movie, which we probably will now that I've bought this, along with the other two I just purchased. But this is uh, Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou. I actually enjoy this one a lot more than the original Prom Night. It's because I just, I just like the story, I like the effects and everything in this movie. So, um, yeah, there's the back. It only, only has like a trailer that's included, but that's okay. If there's a, a really a real um, Blu-ray that comes out or a 4K, I will gladly replace that. Replace this with that. So, Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou, really good movie there. Uh, the next two are from Amazon. They had deals. Deals lately... They haven't really been great, but I got a Kino for, I think, $12 or something like that. This is a TV movie from 1969 starring Rod Steiger, Judy Geeson, and Claire Bloom. Uh, and that is uh, Three Into Two Won't Go. Um, this is like about this guy who's married and he picks up this this uh i think she's 
what is she a teenager well this story is a story about infidelity pretty much so um, um, uh, Rod Steiger and I think it's uh, Claire Bloom their their characters are married in this movie uh, it's a childless marriage and I guess they're not he's not happy with it so he he's away on business he picks up a 19 year old hitchhiker and then they have some sort of fling or whatever and then uh, instead of parting ways she moves in with them and gets in the way of everything so it's it's kind of like one of those movies um, but yeah definitely wanted to add more 60s stuff to my collection uh, next one here is from 1985 this is a Japanese film this is a 4k blu-ray combo pack uh, that is a film called Typhoon Club um, Right in, I read into it. Uh, I've actually been watching the price go up and down for the last couple of months. Um, takes place. Well, see, sorry. It follows a group of uh, junior high students and uh, beset by a summery malaise as a typhoon looms. When the storm finally makes landfall, the teens find themselves holed up in their school, unsupervised, while another classmate disappears alone in a harrowing track to the big city I wouldn't be going around there if the typhoon was coming in but you know hey whatever uh, I heard this this movie is very like ca captures like a lot of things that were happening in 1985 which is cool because I was born that year so definitely wanted to pick this up and give it a watch um, yeah it looked interesting from all the digital stills I saw on IMDB so there's the back just the one uh, check there so yeah I'll definitely look into that one all right everything I only got two other things in the mail this week uh, from uh, Terror Vision I think everybody picked this up but I, I guess I heard they ran out too so if you guys missed out on the slipcover maybe they'll do another one down the line I know they've been doing that with a couple other movies they've released over the years uh, this is a 1911 film called Dante's Inferno uh, had to get it because it's you know like probably one of the oldest one of the oldest horror films uh, out there uh, this, There's like four different versions of the film. They're all like restorations obviously uh, There's a tinted version a red tint version a black and white uh, version of the Redwood Creek restoration and then a black and white version of the alternate restoration cut New score on here by three different people. New commentary with a film historian. So, and different artwork under the slipcover. So, there's the back of that. You guys can read that maybe. Uh, but yeah, it's a moving picture. From 1911. And lastly from A24, uh, I saw that they announced this and I was like, heck yeah, I wanna, I wanna watch this. So I bought it. Uh, I've heard really, you know, weird things about this movie and I definitely wanted to throw it in my collection. This is from 2024, I believe. 2023, excuse me. Uh, and that is, I saw the TV glow. I've heard really interesting things about this film. So I definitely wanted to snag it up it's 100 minutes pg-13 it's about this uh this uh, teenager who's trying to make it through life in the suburbs uh, his classmate introduces him to a mysterious late night tv show he sees a vision of a supernatural world beneath their own and it's just i guess it comes to life i don't i don't know it looks it looked weird the trailer the trailer looked weird so i definitely want to get more weird stuff in my collection so so that is it guys that's everything i've picked up this week like i said not a lot going on this week uh next week should be a little bit better uh i've seen there's quite a bit coming out so i actually have quite a few orders coming in too some upgrades some new stuff some weird stuff so here's my stack for this week like i said not a lot not really hardly anything, but definitely 
something to show off this week. So let me know if you guys have seen any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care, guys. See ya.